So if we're being honest, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of playing, um, but this is an option that you can use for this project. Um, I know the assignment is to create an animal or something that's important to you. If you decide to use Sculpt Fab, you can create a face, whatever you want, a kind of creature, you can make it realistic, whatever you want to do. Um, so whenever you log in, it should look like this, just a sphere. And then you have all of these tools. You can do this on your computer. You could also do this on your phone. Um, so I would just start off by playing around. You can click here um, on your tools and there's all different kinds of cool tools that kind of tell you what they do. I'm going to start with the brush um, and then there's different types of brush tools. So all of these different ones here. So if we're going to do clay, whenever I think about that, I think about that adding, right? So you can change how big, how much you're adding. So here's a you kind of see it popping out there. The more I do it, the more it's going to pop out. Weird, right? Um, you can also change the intensity so it can be very soft. It doesn't have to be very big. You can go all the way up. You can go all the way down and make tiny little holes. So that's the first one. If you don't want to use that one anymore, then you can click the next one or try whatever you want. If I try negative, it's going to take it away. It's kind of hard to see. If I use it on the side here, though, do so you see how it's making an indent? And the more I do it, the more it is taking away. So you're really able to sculpt this like you would a ball of clay. So think about what you would do with your fingers if you were trying to make a face. Honestly, in here, you can make whatever you want. If it's not a face, whatever. I just feel like it may be a little easier just to try to do a face because you know those parts versus trying to make something up completely. So... You can try all of these. So symmetry, if you do it on one side, it's going to do it on the other side too. The top, you can't see it because it's on the other, completely other side, but we can do it right here. You can kind of see what's happening. Um, if you're on your computer, you can hit Control Z and it will undo what you've done not on a computer I don't know what to tell you honestly um, but you can kind of keep clicking it okay so let's try some other things uh, let's try rotate well I don't really know what that's doing oh there we go oh we're getting twisties weird so Obviously, I don't really know what I'm doing either. I'm just kind of playing, but the goal is to just create something out of this. This is just a fun how to, if you like this, you can continue to make projects this way while we're working. Um, so to make a face, I'm just going to kind of show you what I would do. You don't have to watch this from this point on. You can turn it off and do your own thing and practice. You can also come back to it later because this is going to be a relatively long video. I'm probably going to stop talking and I'm probably just going to turn up the music and keep recording.
I got a nose look in there. Let's see if we can. Cool. <laughs> Little nose.
Okay, now I'm just going to be weird. I'm going to try some things. When you're done, all you're going to do is save it as an object. It'll save, and then you'll be able to send that as your image into Teams. Let me know if you have any questions. I can help. Also, just test it out and see what works and turn in whatever you create. As long as you're trying and you're doing something, that's all I really care about. <laughs> <laughs> 